It's the biggest transformation to happen to Fort Lee in decades. An entire learning campus dedicated to training and teaching soldiers and Marines various aspects of ordnance. While construction is nearing completion for the entire campus, phase one of the central campus complex is fully operational. Teaching subjects like wheeled and tracked vehicle maintenance, weapons maintenance, and fire control systems all in state-of-the-art facilities the students didn't have when the schools were taught at Aberdeen Proving Grounds in Maryland. This is now the starship of training for the Army. It's one of the most modern facilities that's in the Army. It's quite a different operation than what they had at Aberdeen. It, you know, it basically brought them into the you know, 21st century. The $80 million complex includes five buildings with high bay learning areas, classrooms, and offices, all equipped with the latest technology designed to better teach the military students. Back when I went a long time ago, it was completely different. Uh, the training is different now. Now it's more advanced, a little bit more uh, hands-on training versus uh, just sitting in the classroom. I can do a close-up on the well. The Army Ordnance School also has virtual training labs, which give the students hands-on experience in a very controlled setting, along with the Army's first indoor range that can fire up to a 50 caliber round. All of these improvements to the training facilities and increased level of teaching is having a profound result on the students coming through the school. It's got a huge impact on the morale of the soldiers and where you really see it is for the ones that are trained at the other locations, the non-commissioned officers that come back to do that training, they just they can't believe how nice it is. The second phase of construction will be completed in the coming months in time for the base realignment and closure 2005 deadline of September 15, 2011. From Fort Lee, Virginia, Patrick Bloodgate. <laughs>